It's really important to have a nice clean workspace, a space that inspires you, a place where you have all your tools laid out, and a nice view doesn't hurt either. In my last video, I showed you these five pieces I'm making, and I was doing some scroll saw work. These are going to be center hung, meaning I'm not going to have a hook that comes out the top with a cord passing through it, but I'm actually going to attach eye hooks that I'm drilling into the wood. So it's very important to center this properly. I'm going to use my ice pick here. I'm going to eyeball it, and I'm going to approximate where I want that hole to be, where it's going to hang just right. There's the one side. And there's the other side. These are the little the little eye hooks. They actually have screws on them. I don't like the idea of just drilling a hole and gluing something in. I like my work to actually be engineered. And I have a bit that is just the right size. The way you know it's the right size, you have the thread and you have the shank. So you pay attention to the shank. You lay it over top of this screw and when I cover it up, the only thing I should see sticking out is a little bit of the thread. So that's how you know you have the right size. Don't want to go too deep. I can always drill it out a little bit later. Now the reason I do that is to get this hole centered properly because if I'm still going to end up sanding the outside somewhat, I don't want to end up um, with um, tolerances that are too fine. I'd rather put the holes in now and then work around that. So I've actually already done that for each of these pieces. This still has the pattern on it. Um, when I carve the detail into it some more, I'll be peeling off that paper. These are already, these are already done. These two actually have already had the um, inside filed, and I have to go over that with sandpaper. I go through a lot of different grades. This has already been taken up to about a 220, and then I'll be working it with a 400, 600, 1,000, and 1500 and then I'll be buffing it. So these two pieces are actually on their way. Next I'm going to select the cutters, the router bits that I'm going to use to carve in the top surface of this. So I've already picked out a few here. I'm just kind of getting the outline so I know where to work. Oh, paper came off. Won't matter. I've got enough of it in there. And now I'm gonna peel off the excess paper and make sure I've got good enough marks on here. Yep. Could be more but it's, it's etched into the wood, so that's enough. I'm gonna take off the rest of that paper very lightly using 400 so I don't take away any of the etchings I've just made. go. The markings are becoming very clear. Let's see where it's etched in there. So it's starting to take shape.
and some off of the feathered edge down here. to watch out because as I've done that I've taken away some of the um, individual cuts in the feathers so I will actually have to bring those back again files should be used in one direction if you ever start using a file back and forth like that you're gonna clog your file I'm going to use 400 on this wheel. One nice feature about working with rosewood is a rose, rose scent to it. 